tell you. Well, it's time for a short break here on Compass, but there's more local news just ahead. A father-son team in Alberton are taking part in an event that caters to amateur radio enthusiasts. We'll check out their gear and hear about their plans next on Compass. This weekend, amateur radio enthusiasts from across North America are practicing disaster preparation. A father-son team who live in Boston and vacation in Alberton will be participating in the event. Lindsay Carroll has that story. Mark Davidson and his son Alex are ham radio enthusiasts. This antenna is one of six they'll be putting up here at West Lake Creek in Alberton. I think the challenge uh, of amateur radio is what, what excites me the most. You, you throw up a wire, you get a piece, uh, piece of equipment out, and you can talk to people not just around North America, but very easily get to Europe and Asia and Australia. Mark says amateur radio runs in the blood. He says he got it from his father and is now passing it on to his son. You know, it's great when you get a clear signal, you can hear them perfectly, and it's very surprising. The Davidsons are from Boston, but bought this land in Alberton a few years ago. Yesterday, they drove up from the U.S. This is the first time they've brought their truck full of antennas, cords, and tools to PEI. Tomorrow at 3 p.m. marks the start of an emergency preparedness event across North America called Field Day. For a 24-hour period, they'll try to contact as many people as they can over the radio. With all the building up of technology, we took it for granted. You could always reach out and talk to somebody in Europe or get your message to somebody far away. But when a disaster hits, that whole system, that whole method of communications goes down. So people like Mark and Alex are training themselves to get set up and start transmitting quickly. It's also a contest to see who can make the most contacts. Thousands of people will be participating. Alex is new at this and only has about 100 contacts. It would be great to see if I can get a few more hundred tomorrow. It isn't a cheap pastime, though. It can cost thousands of dollars. Despite that, the number of people getting their license doubled in the U.S. last year. This is the first time the Davidsons have been involved in this event. There's no prize for this contest, other than the recognition they'll be prepared in the face of disaster. Lindsay Carroll, CBC News, Alberton. Okay, bye bye, Rolf. Thank you very much. 73s to you.